Hello and welcome in. If this is your first time here, my name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer and Twitch musician and music teacher living in Seattle. If you're a friend of the channel already, welcome back. It's good to see you. But either way, you're probably here to talk about Otto's show. I just got back from Chicago. Oh my God, her live show is legit good. Also, the crowd in Chicago, the energy was hyped, man. The pedal was down. We had a very good time. So we're going to talk about all of that. Also, I've never been to Chicago before, so I kind of put together a little travel vlog. If you're into that, cool. If you only want to hear about the concert, you can use the timeline down below to skip ahead to that. All right, I'm excited. Let's go. Went to the airport Sunday morning with plenty of time to spare. Got through TSA surprisingly quick, which was a, it was it was a welcome surprise though because we all know what it's like when it's not that way. So had a lot of time to kill. Spent some time in the Alaska Lounge, and I think the best discovery there was the Alaska Airlines world famous pancake printer. I had personally never seen one of those before, but some folks in my Discord had. But uh, it was pretty funny. So I like airports quite a bit, and flying is generally a pretty positive travel experience for me. But on this flight specifically, I had a lot of work to do. The Seahawks drumline, we're having our in-person auditions in a couple weekends, and I'm finishing up a piece called Marshawn's March that's going to be premiered at that. So had to get in the headspace for it. But, you know, I was thinking about the concert and just honestly could not wait to get there. I stayed at the Chicago Renaissance downtown on the river. This is a photo looking out my window. Definitely enjoy the property. Highly recommend if you're looking for something. I did not eat there, but I did get drinks from the bar, and their old fashions are very good. Went outside, checking out the river. It was pretty cold, so I didn't want to stay out too much, but I uh, got hungry and ended up going to McCormick and Schmick's, and I can't recommend it enough. I got the crab and shrimp stuffed salmon with melted brie cheese, mashed potatoes, and green beans. Oh my God, it was good. After dinner, I wasn't quite ready to call it a night yet, so I went out looking for some music. I found the Redhead Piano Bar. It's a lot of fun. I love watching piano bar musicians because the way they handle such a, like an aggressive crowd, but with so many requests for songs, it's, uh, it's really impressive. Got up the next day, had some coffee in the hotel, and I skipped breakfast and waited for lunch because I was on the hunt for my first experience with Chicago deep dish pizza. Found a place called Pizzeria Ora, and I, yeah, I got my first pie, and you know, it's just not for me. I like other, I have a different value system for pizza. After that, I had quite a few hours before the concert, so I wanted to kill some time. Walked around downtown, headed toward Millennium Park because I wanted to see the, uh, the Chicago bean the Cloudgate sculpture, but unfortunately it was blocked off because the plaza around it is under construction. So uh, instead of seeing that, just kind of walked around the park and enjoyed everything it had to offer. So a couple hours after that, it was almost showtime. So time to go. Got in the Uber. I think it was like only like 15 minutes north. Went to a bar called Fat Cat. Met up with YouTuber John Reeves and his buddy Ryan. We had dinner, drinks, great conversation. It was awesome. But the best part, the, the venue is the Aragon Ballroom, which is only like a block away. So it was super close. Unfortunately, I don't have any more like phone documentation to show you because the moment you get into the venue, it's like you walk in and instantly you're locking your phone away in a pouch that locks. And as soon as you walk past like this like gate, you cannot get it open. But it's actually a really good thing because it just, we'll talk about it in a second, but I just was like, you're really present when your phone is not distracting you and that I'm all about it. So first off, none of these are my photos. This is just stuff that I found on Google to help with the narration. My phone was locked away. So when you walk in, everyone was like super hyped up, obviously, but uh, the staircase was really cool. I remember just looking at it and going, man, this is nice. I like this. You go up and the venue itself is super deep and kind of wide open, but it's cool because it's two stories. And that obviously gives you some choices for what your style is for when you listen to a live band. You can kind of like position yourself to have the listening environment that you want. So once we got in, we made our way to the floor. We went up to the front, I think just left of center, about maybe five to 10 standing rows back. And uh, cause you know, like the first, the first audio experience want to be big, you know, want to take it in. Then I usually move around, but it was, man, the crowd was so nice. Everyone was so hyped, like super friendly. We're sitting there and it's like, you know, geeking out, looking at the stage. We're looking at the drums and kind of the setup because the cage is there. We all know about the cage. And uh, they were very, you know, they reminded you like, hey, if anybody does any like photography or video, you know, her performance will be, they'll, they'll color the cage out and you won't be able to see her. We'll talk about it in a second, but it's a really unique kind of artsy experience where she's not illuminated. She's backlit. So you see silhouette. It's very cool. But uh, I'm sitting there looking at like symbols and like, because half the band is stage right. And then you have the cage and the other half the band is stage left. 
But I was kind of thinking, okay, I want to be here for part of the concert, and then I want to go, like, kind of walk around. Although it's a lot of people, though. It's not like you, you're not just, like, chilling and, like, walk around easily. But I wanted to hear, like, a bunch of audio experiences. So this is a video from Otto's staff page on uh, on Twitter. And I just, I wanted, it was in the beginning of this video, but I want to put it in again because the moment the concert started, this was the energy level. The, everyone is having such a good time. And it was, like, just hype, man. The entire time was super fun. All smiles. And it sounded so good, like massive shout out to the sound engineers, whoever's at the board mixing this concert. It sounded so good. I, the blend of the band was great. I could hear everything. I've been to so many live shows. Some have been great and some have been like super not great. And when they're not great, it ruins the experience. This was great. I, you know, I'm pretty critical. I'm a pretty picky listener. And I just really want to say I appreciate how nice it sounded. All right. So those of you that are friends of the channel, you know me already. You know that I hold live music like it's the highest regard, man. Musicianship is like top tier for me. So it gets a little bit scary when you find a new artist that you like really into and you start listening to all their stuff. You're like, man, this is amazing. And you're going to see them live. You get nervous. Well, I get nervous because you can get like your music heart broken, you know, because sometimes you go to a show and you have expectations from all the studio stuff and you get to the live and you're like, whoa, this is different. That was not the case here. She is very, very good live. She is such an aggressive singer. I was like, what is this going to translate to like on the stage? And let me tell you what's awesome. She's live in the mic. You can hear it all. It's very real. It's very tangible. That is super important to me. I know that's not important to everyone. To me, it is very important. It was there. Also, the band, man, the band is very aggressive, super high energy. Everyone is having a very good time. So like from a perspective of like just being like just taking it in, it was very enjoyable. All right, now I want to talk about the two best aspects of this concert. It's like second place and first place. Let's go second place first. Now, I'm an American, and obviously the majority of concerts I've gone to have been in the States. Now, the cage is so cool. Like, it get, it gives you a different viewing experience that you just do not normally get when you go see a band. I didn't know what to expect. Honestly, it added so much value. You don't see her, but you do see her. The light show that's going on with the cage and stuff behind, and when the cage gets like lights on it and like walls off and it comes back, you're getting something that you never see and she is the stage presence is being delivered in a completely different style because you can't emote there's no facial expression but there's massive dancing and just there's so much like an aura of drama not bad drama great drama like so much musical presence is there but i've never had that experience before and i don't know if i'll get it again but trust me if she has another gig that's close you know what i flew for this one i'll fly for another one it was amazing and it gave an element of just you're just taking it in in a different way now what is the first place let me tell you when you go to a show where not every single person is doing this and you're having to deal with phones like literally everywhere i'm getting tingles thinking about it everyone's in the moment man it's like it's how it's supposed to be like let me tell you like having 11 years teaching high school like being around so many like the the evolution i mean we're all like there like you don't have to be a high school teacher to know it but i really saw like the destruction of the ability to pay attention and to be present and to be mindful with how devices have gotten like it's not just events it's obviously all of life but it was like super hardcore in music events there's no way man when you're just so upset like what are you gonna do with that video later on are you gonna watch it with your shitty phone speakers like come on man like when you're not present you can't take it in at this concert you were taking in everything i'm like already super like hyperactive with the way i listen but the fact that not everyone around me has their screen up and I'm like being, you know, distracted, I can just be distracted with the actual presentation of what's on stage. That was like single-handedly the best part of the evening. That might not be for everybody. I'm older. I can live without my device, right? Like it's not a crutch. I like it, but I don't know how to explain to you other than the fact that it was a very unique experience. I think other countries that have that as like a primary focus and that's the, ex that's the social expectation when you go somewhere, we should adapt that because this you need to trust me it made for an unforgettable experience okay so i think i think you get what i'm trying to say so let's move on so for about half the concert was up towards the front and then i wanted to move around and see what it sounded like in other spots so i went to back left i went down those stairs came back up the other side checked out the back right audio wise it was cool the mix felt i mean i prefer the mix in the front just because i like things a little more present and more alive but it sounded great everywhere i went but it wasn't even about sound anymore at that point it was about the vibe of the people because if you've gone to live shows, you know what it can be like. Sometimes it can be kind of crazy. It can be kind of like weird. People were so happy. Like the people watching was ridiculous because it was just like, hey man, everything was happy go lucky and a lot of good moods were going on. So you couldn't like, it was infectious, right? Like you just, I was like, yeah, man, this is chill. So with that being said, anytime that the opportunity is available to go back, I will 100% do that. 
That was my experience. Were you at that show? Did you see her in a different city? Do you want to go to the show? Let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. That was, that was just, the check mark is there for me. I had a great time. My name is Drumroll Tony. Catch me when I'm live on Twitch. Link for all the socials down in the video description below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Please and thank you. Click the like button. Subscribe to the channel so you can catch the next one. YouTube thinks you want to watch one of these two videos next. Have a great day. Take it easy. Bye-bye.